Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's video. I'm Leticia Theora, and today I will be reviewing Cicely Tyson, Just As I Am. Cicely Tyson was born on December 19, 1924, the second child to two other siblings, a brother named Melrose and a sister named Emily, to parents Frederica Theodosia Huggins and William Augustine Tyson. The both of them, immigrants from the British West Indies, made their home in Harlem, New York. Ms. Cicely Tyson has made and left a legacy of positive portrayals of strong African-American women on television series, movies, and plays. She has received many awards and honors throughout her career. Here, she allows us to not only see the ornaments on the branches of her life tree, but also the roots. The story begins with an outstanding foreword by Ms. Viola Davis, who talks about her first time seeing Ms. Cicely Tyson on television as she performed in the autobiography of Ms. Jane Pittman. She talks about how mesmerized she was by her performance and how seeing Ms. Cicely Tyson, someone who looked like her on television, inspired her to want to become an actress and make a better life for herself. And reading this also reminds me of my first time uh, watching the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. Me and my sisters were also sitting in front of the television. And the big question at that time was, how did the same actress play that played the young Miss Jane Pittman also played the older Miss Jane Pittman. Theatrical makeup and prosthetics has certainly come a long way. Miss Tyson talks about her childhood along with her older brother Melrose and her younger sister Emily. She talks about her parents and their relationship, her adolescent years, having her only child and her first marriage. Before Ms. Tyson began her acting career, she had a sensible, regular job working at a law firm. She had secretarial skills. She had a second job as a typist. She even had a side hustle as a hairdresser. Sometime later, she worked at the Red Cross where she transcribed case histories. While working at the Red Cross, Ms. Tyson talks about an older coworker who was giving a farewell retirement party and presented with the gold wristwatch as a parting gift after 30 years of service. Ms. Tyson says she stood and watched in disbelief as coworkers clapped and sentimental tears were shed. She couldn't believe that after working for so many years that this woman only received a gold watch. She later proclaimed to other coworkers that this would not be her. Bored and frustrated with her job one day, Ms. Tyson proclaims out loud again that she was sure that God put her on earth to do more than peck on a typewriter for the rest of her life and that there must be something else. One day while Ms. Tyson was out on her lunch break, someone approached her in the street and they asked her if she was a model. She said no, and she asked how she would go about becoming a model. They told her, and she went and applied for it. Eventually, she began modeling on the side. And sometime later, because of her exposure as a model, someone asked her if she knew how to act. She said no, and she had no interest in acting. And, but someone gave her a script to read and eventually she went back and auditioned and got the role. Tyson's first role was on NBC's television series, Frontiers of Faith in 1951. 
and her first film role was in Carol Gold in 1956. Ms. Tyson was a trailblazer for many Black actresses. She set an example in her choice and process of choosing roles that uplifted Black women. Ms. Tyson talks about her process in choosing roles and how she realized that she was meant to play the role of Rebecca in Sounder, her portrayal of Ms. Jane Pittman and many other roles. She also talks about a reporter who confessed that he had confusion in discovering prejudice within himself because he couldn't understand or accept the little black boy in Sounder referring to his black father as daddy the same way his white son related to himself as daddy. It was at that moment that Ms. Tyson said she realized that there were issues that she wanted to address and she decided to use her acting career as her platform because she knew that she couldn't afford the luxury of being an actress. Ms. Tyson has starred in many movies, television series, uh, plays, musicals, some I've seen and some I haven't. Um, I'm looking through her pictures and uh, she starred in uh, Bustin' Loose and Richard, uh, with Richard Pryor. I saw that one. Um, the Blacks, which was a Broadway musical. Um, a Man Called Adam. I haven't seen these for sure. <laughs> um, <clears throat> The Trip to Bountiful. Now, this is one that I haven't seen, um, but I am looking forward to seeing it soon. Um, she was in Sounder in 1972, so, but I did see that. And I believe she received two Emmys. She's received a lot of awards and I can't name them all. I seen her in Roots, in which I recently gone back to see her giving birth scene. It really is something. Miss Jane Pittman, in which she received Did she receive Miss Jane Pittman? Yes, she received two Emmys for Miss Jane Pittman. Um, she was awarded Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the nation's highest civilian honor, awarded uh, by our President Obama. Um, she was awarded the Kennedy Center Honorary many honors and many bodies of work that I cannot name. This book was very, she was, her story, her life story is very interesting. Tyler Perry's Medea's Family Reunion. Sure enough seen that one. Um, the Women of Brewster Place. I, I enjoy uh, The Women of Brewster Place. My, um, she was in The Help and uh, How to Get Away with Murder with Ms. Viola Davis. Um, she was in Hoodlum, which is one of my favorite. Um, there was a line that she did in Hoodlum. You forget T, we don't got no balls to take. I'll try it anyway. You forget T, we don't got no balls to take. Well, you have to see the movie. I particularly enjoy it good long. I watched that a few times. Um, and I, I enjoyed uh, Fishburne and Vanessa Williams 
and many other uh, members of the cast. And there are many, many others that I can't name. Some I've seen and some I haven't. This is a picture of Miss Cecilia Tyson with Miss Viola Davis. I'm not gonna tell it. But it, you really should see it. You really should read this book, take time to read this book. She also talks about her relationships and whatnot. You know, she, she was married to Miles Davis. That's something I didn't know. And she was in a relationship with him and eventually later on they got married and she talks about what that was like. So, very interesting book. You know, usually I read I read through the book myself, or, or sometimes I may read just a few, the first three or four chapters in the book. And I started, you know, this book is, is pretty thick. So I started reading the first three, four chapters, and then I decided to listen to it on Audible, see what it sounds like. And oh, the best thing ever. I went back and listened to the first few chapters that I read. You know, by the time I finished with this book, I felt like I had sat down and listened to Ms. Tyson talk to me, tell me her whole life story. And it was wonderful. Well, I have fun, I've had fun and this was nice. If you like watching this video, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.